Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you the difference between WPML and Wiglot. Here I have two dummy pages, both one installed with WPML and this one with Wiglot. And in previous videos I already showed how it, it works, the tutorial, how to install Wiglot. This one I will more focus even more on the differences. And for example, here we already have the language switcher of Wiglot. It's really easy to install. It's pretty accurate. And the translation, if well, in this case, if you know Spanish, well, I already have the Spanish here. But any other language that Wiglot has, it's pretty accurate. In this other page, I have the WPML. I already have here the language switcher. We have here English as the main, well, one of the secondary language. This is a, a female store. And if we go here to Spanish, it can actually also change the blocks uh, and any other details that are required here on the website. So if I go back here now to the dashboard, well, basically on the on the WordPress side of Wiglot, there's not a lot of things to do besides of the first installation of the API key that it's actually pretty easy. You can get this information from the Wiglot's dashboard that it's the following thing that I will show. And you can do also these changes of the buttons. Uh, you can do it also from the Wiglot's dashboard. So basically you don't work that much with the Wiglot's here. Uh, area on the WordPress. Uh, here, there is there is this actually the difference between Wiglot and Dashboard that the management of translation here, probably the user interface might seem a little bit uh, friendlier. But here, the thing is that there are like, you have to set up which page are you translating and from which string to string so that you actually can see or read from what words are the ones that are meant to be translated. And that's a thing here with Wiglot that you have this dashboard. So in this case, even it's that the feeling looks, it's even better. I probably think that here on, now on the, on the side of WPML, well, since you're watching here directly the page, then sometimes it could be even easier to, to find the one that you're searching. If I go here to the WPML plugin, uh, there's even more configuration that you can do from the side languages. And here is one of the main differences here from Wiglot and also WPML. Because on WPML, you have a little bit more freedom to well, when we talk about even Shopify, but now we're here on WPML, you can easily change if you want subfolders or if you want a different domain or subdomain per language, or if you want to set a parameter, but it, this might not be really recommended. In most cases, probably this one will be the best one. Or if you have a, the budget to have a different domains, and manage different domains, this could be the best one if you are aiming for different markets. And in the case of Wiglot, you actually, for WordPress, it's mainly set as subfolders. There is no on the settings. You don't have the capacity or the availability of changing either the subfolders or setting up the even subdomains, as you can see. On the setup, well, this is the team. There is that's a thing. Well, in case of the strategy that you're aiming for, there's no actually, you don't have this, it's already preset uh, subfolder. The language switcher, we can see that you can also, also have the changes and have the different settings either if you want to change or the browser language redirect, which is in both, it's available. We can see it here and, and we can see it here that you can set up here the redirections of the browser language. 
SEO options, post translate either rank math or Joe SEO. So there's like no much to worry about. But when it comes out to SEO, and I will show also here with WPML, they set the alternate and the HRE flank as Spanish, stating that there, this is the main one or there is this website in Spanish and that there is also a English version that it's similar here. And in the case of Quiglot, they set this uh, SEO announcement or this SEO code stating that this web page has a, 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 another page. Here at the beginning, he, it's stating that it's in English from the US and there's also a, another page. This is the one from English. And here it's stating that here we have it in Spanish. And this is also the canonical from. And I'm still not a international SEO expert, but I do think uh, and prefer. I think this is the best option when it comes to saying that there's this website and there's this copy or or another similar page, but in uh, English version. So this is another difference between WPML and Wiglot. And now here I'm going to show you the translation tools. I have it here directly from my website. And the thing is that, and with WPML, you have these different types of pricing. Yes, you have to pay the plan, the different plans, but in order to have the automatic translation, you have to be paying either the certain amount of credits. And with Wiglot, you actually have different plans where you can select uh, according the plan that you need and the words. So for example, here we have the word count limit and actually in WPML, there is no word count limit. It's only uh, the credits that you will have available to do translations. So also it will depend on the translation ma machines that you're using. Microsoft costs one credit per word, Google two credits per word, and Deeple that it's the best one. Actually, this is the only one that I'm using because I don't like Microsoft and Google's translation so far. And well, with Wiglot, you don't have to really worry about those small details, but you have to get more worry or, or set up the word count limits and be aware of those, those minor differences. And also with WPML, you will have to, if you want to increase the amount of credits, you will have to pay for more. But the thing is that after a month that you already use these credits, if you decide to pay again the $70, this number up here will be a, like a reset of WPML. And you will have again the, well, in this case, the 100,000 credits to be reused in new content. And with Wiglot, uh, you already have this, for example, in these 10,000 words. And for the next month, you actually won't have like new 10,000 words. It will be stay the same. And in order to increase the limit, then you will have to increase the uh, number of, or the, to a bigger plan. So that's another thing that to consider. I hope that I explained my, myself good. That for the next month that you pay, you will stay on the, on the word count limit that you have. And in the WPML that if you pay again, you will have new credits to be reused in new content. So that's another difference. Also, I want to go straight forward to showing the URL translation. Because here in the settings area in the page URL, you can actually from the beginning with WPML, you can set uh, that you can actually want to translate the slugs or the URL slugs. And it is now in this area, for example, here I have 
uh, WPML against Polylang page that I can translate to German. I will show you later how it works as also. But here you can set up that you want to translate in case, I don't know, you want to change here uh, the URL and you want to delete something or if you want to change, eventually you can keep it as you want. Let me show you. Okay, so let me show you. We have here the URL and now we have it in Spanish and we can see the here that also the URL has changed. And if we go here to, to Wiglot, then we will have to go to another page and let's see if we can have here this sample page. But if we go to the Spanish version, it will only add the subfolder and we cannot change. If we want to change the URL, you will have to go to the new plan. Well, that it's the, on the advanced plan of, of Wiglot, then you actually can do that translation, but you have to do the upgrade. And this upgrade actually, well, if you have the budget, try it because Wiglot, yeah, the good thing of Wiglot is uh, how fast it is to translate and how accurate, but selecting the monthly price, it's around 160 euros. And in order to have this feature, you will have to get the advanced uh, module. And if you're aiming for international sale, then this might be one thing to be considered. But with WPML, you can see that it's actually since the beginning. This is another of the advantages. And let me show you, I will create here a, a dummy page on this website. I will go here and we'll just create, we'll go back, we'll set up here in English. And I will just copy this Wikipedia text, Wikipedia. English. Copy there, and if we go here, and we just publish, and we can see here that if we go directly to the page, we will only have it in English, so we will have to do the translation, and so we will have to go back to the page dashboard. We can just we have it here and then we will have this area of adding a new translation in order to have the the other language option and if you don't set the automatic translation then you will have to do this manually and this might take a while and in order to do so and since i don't have this uh the automatic translation activated, then you have to do it either manually or, well, let's say this one. Let's just, and this will take a while. So I will try to fast forward so that you can actually have in mind actually how how long it will take. There's another option. If you download Deeple, you can actually do a copy paste here. And this will actually make a little bit the work faster. But as you can see, this is taking time. And after 
couple minutes we already have this and it was a short page and if you don't have the automatic translation this this will take time so we can already set up the page and WPML has this this thing that probably it will be one of the greatest disadvantage that it takes time but you don't have this uh, word count limit and you already have here the Spanish version. Now let's go with Wiglot. Let's also create the page. Let's go also here with Wikipedia text. Let's copy here English. And let's copy out the texts. But first, let me show you before actually doing the translation. Let's see the word count. We have around 1137 words already so far translate, translated. And let's publish. Let's watch the page. We have it here in English. And if we can see here, we have it also in Spanish. So if we do the translation. And voila, we have it. It was pretty fast. And it's actually really accurate. So this is the main advantage of Wiglot. It's the time that you said he I didn't have to fast forward the video like in, in the WPML. But as you, as you can see, and well, in this plan, in the, in the first plan, starter plan, you cannot translate the URLs. And here you actually can. But now that WPML is improving a little bit more. And, and here you can actually just translate automatically with just one click. And then you can just save, make the minor corrections to start finding which are the missing here until you have the 100%. And if we go and search WPML, We can see here that we will have it already in German. But this will require that manual work. And if you don't have time or if you don't have the team, then there is the thing to be aware. And going back here to the number, uh, I will just show you it increased. So eventually as more texts and more content that you have you will eventually reach this number this number here so as i have recommended if you're planning to use wiglot try to keep it up in less than two languages otherwise if you're like like me that you just want to have more languages then you will actually uh, reach pretty soon and also if we go back here to the settings uh, you don't have this limit on WPML. You can actually add as many languages as you want. I have here the almost the deep languages so that it's even faster, but it, that's the thing that it will take time to be translating the, the posts. But it's a thing that you can actually do. Eventually it will take time, but you don't have that word count limit as in Wiglot. And there's also another thing that I want to show you. Let's say, let's watch here that if we deactivate uh, WPML, okay, we are deactivated. Let's go here to pages. And you can see here, we have double pages and this will get messy if you have lots of text. Also, I don't think I don't have yes too much products, but yes, you will have also the the text duplications. So 
that's an issue that you must be considered. So also I don't recommend WPML for WooCommerce because in order that you, you have to deactivate something, this will happen. Of, of course, if you activate it again, it will, we will see it back. And we go to pages and you see it back in order. But in case that, that there's some issue, then this is a thing that you must be aware. And with Wiglot, and with Wiglot, if you go to the dashboard and we deactivate the plugin, you won't see this issue because Wiglot Translate, they have the database on their side and not on your WordPress page. And as you can see here, there is no duplication. But if we go back here, we don't see the Spanish version. So we, we will have to reactivate. And even the products, I don't have, I think only have a one dummy product, but we don't see any duplication. And let's go back here to reinstall, activate. We just refresh and we'll have it back here. And you don't have to do that, that work. So. That's another difference between WPML and Wiglot. So I hope that this video helped you to learn more about these two good plugins. WPML, I recommend it more for text content websites and Wiglot for WooCommerce or also for Shopify, but that's another platform. But also that's a good thing about Wiglot, the time that you save. Uh, despite the disadvantages and in contrast, WPML, you have no limits, but it will take you more time. So I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching.